her forecast never disappoint. Wonderful. Love her. Well, okay, I'm joined this morning by Emporia City Manager, Mr. Trey Cocking. So, Trey, you're here this morning to speak on the new pay structure that commission decided on just recently. So do you mind speaking to what that means for you guys and what that means for the people of Emporia? Absolutely. Last August, um, especially in public safety, police and fire department, we realized we had a real problem. Mm -hmm. We have 41 police officers authorized. We were down to 33 police officers in the police department, um, 53 firefighters authorized, and I think we were hovering around 10 short there. Mm -hmm. um, and we just couldn't get applications. Um, so at that point, um, the city commission challenged staff to go out, look at pay across the state. Um, we hired a firm called the Arnold Group out of Wichita. They came in and did a complete analysis of our pay structure and we had to make some pretty significant changes to get yeah. new employees in the door. Um, but um, that went into effect in April. Um, I'm, really ex ex I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Um, we've been able to hire two of our, our former police officers back who had left um, to go do other things. Mm -hmm. We had police officers who were leaving to go be a route driver and drive trucks and just away from their calling. So we're yeah. glad that those folks are coming back to us. And we're really excited where we are as an organization. So. Um, our police chief and fire chief have indicated that they are now able to recruit. Oh, um, so I think um, city commission stepping up and doing that was really great for Emporia. You know, because we are the, at the end of the day, we're the only service that when you dial 911, something has to happen. Other units of government, they'll be there eventually. But, you know, we try to be there in about four to five minutes. Yeah, of course. And I know that this, I mean, that's been an issue across, not just in Emporia, but across the country that we're seeing with shortages and things like that. So, I mean, what's been the response? You said that you're getting those police officers back that you, you know, had, had sadly had to leave. Um, you know, what's been the community reaction to this? Yeah, you know, I think so far very positive. Um, I think we're at 38 officers right now. Oh, great. Um, so we're climbing back up mm -hmm. from where we were. Um, it's a slow process. It takes a little while to get an officer in, get them trained get through the background checks and that sort of thing. But we're excited to see that number rising because going the other way um, would not have put us in a good place at all. Yeah, of course. And so moving forward with commission, do you guys have a, anything else exciting on the docket coming up here soon? You know, really where we are, and I think most cities are in the state of Kansas, we're in the heart of budget season. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know. Fun times, right? Fun times. So <laughs> um, we have to decide what property tax is, mm -hmm. should look like for next year. And how do we manage that all? You know, our organization, I was just looking at our general fund, about 73% of our general fund expenditures are on payroll. Okay. And about 60% of that's on public safety. So, that's you know, that, that's our challenge <laughs> yeah. is mm -hmm. really we are public safety heavy and people heavy. So, if we're gonna cut something that results in people and so it puts us in a tough place and we're trying to make it all balanced. And at the same time, we want our um, taxpayers and their citizens um, to have an affordable place to live. So. I think commission continues tr to try to balance that all out to make sure it's all working. Yeah, well, it is budget season, which, like we said, is the, the really, you know, the nitty gritty parts of the year where you got to get into those things. So we're glad that you guys are doing that over at Emporia. We appreciate it. Hey, we're excited. Yeah. Thanks, Katie.